welcome to Sulu Lux Life. If you enjoy the luxuries, the luxuries of life, then consider giving this channel a subscribe. And for today's video, it is going to be a first bag recommendation. Now, I've actually got inspired to make this video because of a co-worker, friend, and like I was just getting so into it and I was like, you know what, this would be a really good video idea to share and I have a list of items that I recommend for first time luxury designer bag purchases so if that is something that you're interested then you know please keep watching and for today's crystal of the day is going to be quartz now quartz is an amplifying crystal i'm gonna put the information down below basically quartz is like it is considered the basic of crystals but do not be fooled by that crystal because any other crystals that you may have around it it'll basically amplify whatever features it has so you know what i mean like rose quartz means love put that little clear quartz next to it even more love boom 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 you know sparkles everywhere i found this crystal fitting for today's video because i feel like quartz is the first crystal that a lot of crystal lovers buy let's get to today's video i will be going by brand for the first one it's going to be louis vuitton and the bags that i recommend i put two but i actually recommend three the first one being the speedy bandolier 25 why the 25 why not the 30 why not the 35 i find that the speedy 25 is a really nice bag for majority of people like in ranges of different sizes and i also think that not only can you crossbody the bag because it literally has a built-in crossbody but you can hold it as a top handle it carries a lot the only con about the bag is if you don't have a bag organizer it'll kind of flop that's been a lot of like the same complaint that a lot of people have had with the bag so that's the only down but overall it's a beautiful bag that's one bag that i've always liked and although you do see it everywhere it's everywhere for a reason it's a very popular bag and fun fact the 25 was created especially for audrey hepburn i've always liked sharing that information because she loved that bag so much but she found the 32 big so they customized the 25 for her i think this is a good classic i feel like if this is the only bag that you're gonna get definitely invest in the speedy 25 and also i say the the bandolier version because it's multi-functional the second bag that i recommend is the alma bb this bag is a classic coco chanel herself wore that bag all the time and also uh, my friend has two versions of the alma bb and i've been lucky enough that she's been you know she let me borrow it for a little bit and it carries a lot it's very comfortable i like that the handles they just fall down the same with the speedy and it's very structured so if you don't like your bag kind of floppy because you're like i'm not gonna get a bag organizer alma bb would be the next best thing third bag is the tote i feel like everyone's been hearing it but again is a classic for a reason which is the never fall i think the never fall is really good especially with women that you know they carry a lot of things they have to hold their books laptops if you're a mom if you're a dog mom if you just like putting everything in the kitchen sink in your bag i think the neverfull is a really good bag definitely get a lot of use out of it i've seen college students wear it and it looks really nice like it's very multifunctional and it looks nice it doesn't matter how you're wearing it you can get away with that bag with so much things okay now the last louis Vuitton recommendation is on the higher end this is like a bag that i think if you know you know and if you don't it's cool honey it's cool but i'm gonna let you know it's the capucine Capus i kept calling it capucina but it's capucine the capucine bag it's a really beautiful low-key like it's a really nice classy bag i love how elegant it looks without it trying like 
you could wear jeans a shirt and you wear that couple scene and you're just like ooh, ooh. i really do like the couple scene and the one that i recommend is the small one because the small one ain't that small so that's why i'm like yo the couple scene the next brand we're gonna go into is gucci so with gucci I feel like with Gucci, they've been gaining a lot of popularity in recent years. And I have two recommendations from Gucci. There are other bags that I would have recommended, but I feel like these two for me were the ones that caught the most attention. I actually have three. Let me not, let me just say the three. So the first one that I really do like is the Gucci Bamboo the gucci bamboo 1947 this bag why i recommend it is based off its uniqueness it screams gucci without screaming gucci unless of course you do you know the monogram version newer monogram is more like zoomed in and i'm warming up to the zoomed in monogram but i feel like with the bamboo 1947 gucci is the only luxury brand that has that bamboo folding technique and it's so iconic i think it's a show-stopping bag and especially if it's your first bag if you're worried about the colors just stick to a neutral color i think the brown and black one would be two nice ones but if you you don't want to zip the toes and them colors the color ranges that it has is a really beautiful variety like don't be afraid for your first bag to have a pop of color like get the pink bag get the blue bag get the green bag just do it second recommendation is my absolute favorite i saw it instantly fell in love with it the jackie 1961 bag and i like the small version the reason why i'm recommending this bag is not only that you can hold it as a handle bag you can make it crossbody Oh, and the same with the bamboo. You can make it crossbody too. But this bag is really unique. It's really beautiful. Again, it's not in your face Gucci, but it just, it's a fun bag. It's a bag I don't see a lot. And it's just, and it like literally fits an iPhone. Like the phone that I have is the plus. It fits it. My way of thinking is if my phone don't fit, it's too small. That's me though. But if you like the micro bags, there's a lot of micro bags, so don't worry about it, sweetheart, don't worry about it. And the last bag that I was going to recommend is a tote bag. I kind of want to keep adding totes just in case if you're like, yo, I work, I carry laptop, I carry book, like, you're good, okay? I will recommend the Gucci Diana tote bag. Again, it has the bamboo on it, really iconic. It got the double GG's interlocks in the front. A little smidgen of Gucci. It comes in a few different colors. I love the black one. I like the little pop of color it has on the handles. And I think that that's another great Gucci bag to invest in. So those are my three Gucci recommendations. You heard it here first. For the tote, I recommend the mini tote. But if you want to go bigger, then go bigger. Now we shall jump into Zior. Because if you adore her, Dior her do it the first one that I recommend is the medium book tote it's cute she cash if you want to take it to the beach you can if you want to take it to the airport you can and again it's a bag that I don't see a lot it's really pretty and it's gonna go up from here I recommend that bag it's there's so many different styles color schemes designs sky's the limit the second dior bag that i would recommend it's a classic the saddle bag the big one the original the og this bag i do think that you know putting things inside and out of it might be a little bit of a hassle you can't really overstuff it but it is a wonderful bag it like you know stays nice and tucked in under your arm instantly instantly recognizable beautiful bag and the third one again the highest of the bunch that i recommend is the lady dior this bag i've always liked it she beautiful the color that i love is that patent red i always lean for the patent red that's the red bag of my dreams and it holds a lot 
it's really nice it's cute it pops out and again those three bags are not bags that i see every day casually so dior wise those would be the three bags so if you're like oh my god i love dior i want my first bag highly recommend for you to pick from those three fendi with fendi i only put two bags that i recommend the first one being a classic the baguette i put in for the leather the cloth one and the build your own baguette you can literally make your own baguette it's a little bit cheaper but i knowing myself even though the idea sounds fun it sounds like a hassle and i put it out there for you creatives people that know how to like you know use the flossing thread i think that would be really cute and then you'll have your own personalized baguette and if you don't want to do that i recommend you getting either the leather with the f's like the two fendi f's or the cloth one i feel like the the cloth one i hardly ever see in the resale market so that's saying something i think a lot of people do keep the bag i think it's cute i think i love the fact that again multifunctional you could just hold it you can you know like put it as a shoulder bag and you can carry a cross body i'm trying to look out for the multifunctional of the bags the second one that i recommend is the mont tesour tesour the baguette is actually the higher one of the bag and the mont tensor is lower it's a bucket bag and it is 1950 so it's a little less than 2000 and the baguette is like in the 3000s like there guys i am speaking in terms of if you save up for a good solid year and you really want a designer bag which bag are you gonna pick and which bag are you gonna be using throughout the year that you be having the bag and of course bags that will retain their value and if you change your minds you can re you can put it up in the resale market and get practically all your money back think about it you don't need to have a whole collection but i do think that it's really nice for every woman that loves handbags just to have one it's okay to have just that one i feel like the montessor and the baguette are my two Fendi recommendations. Bottega Veneta. For Bottega Veneta, I actually have two recommendations. The first one being the pouch. I actually have the mini pouch. I don't regret one single bit having it. Freaking love my little pouch. I'll insert some clips and I've gotten a lot of use out of the bag. Um, I do recommend the bigger one uh, only because it does carry a lot more. But if you want to do the mini, then do the mini. I have the mini i like that it's multifunctional. i can use it as a pouch i can use it as a crossbody and if i play around with the strings i can make it into like a shoulder bag that's why i love my little mini pouch and the next bag from bottega that i recommend is the mini jody i've seen this bag so many different color ways i think it's a beautiful unique bag to have don't be sleep with bottega veneta don't be sleep the craze is dying down but again it's such a nice low-key bag and the leather is of great quality and it's that kind of style that if you know you know and if you don't it's cool but boom not everyone's meant to be in this club Celine. Celine is definitely that brand that's very low-key, not in your face. It's like you know she there. And she cool. She that cool girl. And that's why I really like Celine. I low-key have a feeling that Celine will be the next bang that I will add in my collection. <laughs> so the first bag I'll recommend. And this one is the high one. The second one will be the low one. I recommend the luggage nano tote carries a lot you can use it as a handbag you can use it as a crossbody it looks like a cute little robot face i don't care how outdated this bag is she a must have she unique and today when i went to the mall i actually saw a lot of women carrying the micro i think i saw one carrying the largest one and another one carrying the medium one and the one that i like is the smallest one I definitely think that it is worth the splurge 
and I definitely do think that once you get it, you're gonna keep using it because it's such a nice bag to use either casually crossbody and dress it up and just hold it on your hand and just be like, ooh, ooh, don't talk to me, I got Celine. And the second one is the Small Boston. The Small Boston, I think, is a great alternative to the Speedy because the Speedy Bandolier is 18, 20, and the Small Boston, it's 1550. So if you really like the speedy, but you ain't feeling the speedy price, I recommend going for the small Boston. The Celine logo is beautiful, minimum. It's gaining popularity. And La Lisa, she wears it. So if you're in black pink, she's an ambassador for Celine. And she definitely popularized, you know, the brand again. And I think it is leaning more towards the younger generation because it's low key, it's not in your face, you don't see it everywhere. And when I do see it, it's really pretty. Like, I'm really loving the logo Celine got going out. So those are my two Celine recommendations. Why is so? These two recommendations came from my lovely older sister and she is more of the business women's side so these two recommendations not saying that they're just for the working business woman but they're definitely really nice investment pieces so the first one being the classic sac de jour that one i did try the tiny one and she recommended the medium one so again you got two sizes to jump off to look all chic and fashion mm. A girl's gotta, you know, look like she's trying. I love that effortlessly cool, chic look. But I really do like that classic back too. And the other one she recommended was the Manhattan. It kind of like reminds me of the Kelly bag from Hermes. So I think that's a really nice bag to look into. So whenever you're passing one out, be like, yo, can I get a Manhattan? Can I see it? Definitely check it out and see if that's a bag that, you know, you think yo this might be worth making it the first chloe is the next brand i've always liked that chloe i think that they are worth getting in the resale market because they do tend to sell a little below retail and i only recommend one pack now this is again so chloe is more boho chic like she's laid back she's cool like she may be going to the beach she may be running to those farmers market like that kind of vibe so that's why i wanted to recommend one of chloe's bag the bag that i recommend is the mini marcy basket i wanted to recommend a basket bag and i really like this one it's similar to the loewe one i think that the loewe basket bag is really cute and if that's the vibe that you like you're kind of a little bit more on the low-key side but you do kind of want a bag that may make a little bit of a statement i think that that's a really nice bag to look at for the first time bag and it's 650 so it's not that bad it's got a bit of leather it has a really nice um shape to it so you can hold it in your arm and you can throw a little scarf on like on top of it just to make sure that if anything falls on top of your bag it's easy access or nothing can you know no one can try to like you know grab something from it so that's my one chloe bag that i do recommend so this is the last one for luxury and i did speak to lala about this brand because she herself has the jacques amus a bag so her re overall review of the bag is she really does like the bag she wants to wear more often she has a white bag so with white bags unfortunately color transfer does happen especially with jeans so be mindful of that that's the only thing she regrets about the bag she wish she got the black one which is totally understandable now jacques mousse has not hit the united states yet and it is a hot up and coming italian i think they're italian I'm going to double check. Hopefully I'm correcting myself while editing. But they're an up and coming hot brand. And right now their prices are literally like starting prices. I recommend wholeheartedly if you're not trying to spend like a thousand dollars. Or if you're not trying to hit above that. Again, these are investment bags that I'm mentioning. Jacquemus is the brand to look at. 
They have the Lechi Kit. That's the one that I recommend. There's a different array of colors. A lot of people try to dupe the bag. And I'm telling y'all, the prices are going to go up and it's under $1,000. Speaking of under $1,000, there are two brands that I highly recommend as well. They're not luxury, but if you're like, girl, I ain't trying to be, you know, all up in the fashion girl, but a girl want to look good, I got you. I got you. The two brands that I definitely recommend is Kate Spade and Coach. I used to work at Kate Spade. I learned a lot about working there. I love the brand and it made me appreciate the history of the brand. It is an American fashion house. And the bag that I have, I'll show some photos. I haven't seen it on the site, but when I tell you how beautiful the leather feels, it's definitely worth every single little penny. I forgot the name of the bag, but hopefully I can find some information about it. I got it in tan. I like that. It has, you know, two pockets and a pocket in between. And the pocket in between is where I keep, like, I tend to keep my wallet sometimes. Maybe there's, like, a hand sanitizer. But the bag is really easy to access. I can use it as a handbag and crossbody. It looks really nice, elegant, and chic and I got it in tan, but if a girl could, I would also get it in black. I also recommend for Kate Spade, fun bags. Every time I've seen people with fun Kate Spade bags, whether it be a taxi, a heart, a box of chocolates, like, they're such fun bags. Just splurge on it. My sister, she had this bunny backpack and my other best friend had the kitty backpack and they would get non-stop compliments for it because it's such fun bags don't be afraid to experiment and i think it's really cute to play to play with your style and the third thing i recommend from kate spade i'll insert a clip spade medium flowered satchel i love the monogram that the brand is coming out with and i think it's very beautiful it resembles the speedy bag and that's why i recommended it because it's like looks like the speedy but it's not the speedy it's another brand's take on this little duffel mini duffel bag it's, it's cool if it's not but you get the gist so i definitely recommend looking into Kate Spade and those would be my bag recommendations if you're trying to stay in a budget and if you're like well, looking cute I want to know what I should get as my first purse coach coach has been on fire for the past few years like I like that coach is going back to its roots and I like that you look at a coach bag and you know it's coach they take a lot of pride in their products and they take a lot of pride in their designs i love the tabby pillow bag i love the black one i love the tan one and i even like the gold one i look at it and i'm like this is like an accessory bag it's really cute i wear gold it'd be cute to have a gold bag because it's really pillowy i did try the bag on in store and it's very very plushy so if you don't really if you're not into the plushy bags the soft tabby would be the next best alternative it's soft and it reminds me of the baguette like that's the vibe it's giving me giving me baguette vibe but it's not really a baguette it's not though love what coach is doing i'm still kind of heartbroken at the fact that they're sold out with the heart bag because that's definitely such a beautiful bag and i saw someone in the mall with it and i'm like rocket girl Another tote I wanted to quickly add was the MCM tote. I got to wear this tote while I was in Florida. Shout out to Lala because she did let me borrow it. Comfortable tote. Holds a lot. It's just such a... It's a cute tote to run errands in. That is it for my bag recommendation video. I hope that you guys did find this information more insightful. And if you guys want to see a shoe recommendation video hit the like thank you for making it this far in the video if you have remember to subscribe like and hit that bell for future notification and until next time y'all